guys. This is August the 20th, Sunday. The weather's pretty decent, it's nice and warm today. Around 25, 28. So last week we came in here, we had no brood on the second brood box. It was all full of honey. And the empties, this my supers were pretty empty. Let's check and see. I got some comments. They told me to remove this box out. Add a new box with uh, some frames with some from last year. Remove two brood frames from the bottom. Move it to the top and see if they they start doing something here with the with their start making brood on the top. Wow, this is pretty full here today for some reason. So let's check and see. This one was pretty empty. It had some frames with some honey. So let's see if I'm, I'm going to... One of my subscribers told me to do that. So let me see how this is here first. And we'll go from there. Okay, this one's pretty empty or super. A little bit of honey. Not much. Let's see how this is going. I think it's been good for honey. Well, starting to a little bit. Two out. So I can go a little quicker. Last time the video was too long. This one's a little heavy. You can see it's got some nectar in there. Same thing here. Wow, this one's almost all full. 80% maybe. This is my two out, third, fifth frame. Same here, a little bit, quite a bit. This one's, look at that, lots of yellow. Starting to get a little full, so they're starting to store some honey up here. But I need room for brood on the bottom. Okay, this is a pretty empty. Let me just push this in, get this one off. keep them even so the brood can go they can wax them nice and straight for you it's a lot better okay let's break it up okay. okay we're getting into the top brood box this is the queen excluder. It keeps the queen down. Some people don't use it. I was taught to use it since I'm relative of a beginner. So there's lots of bees in here. Like it's lots of bees in here. So let's see how this is progressing this time. Wow, it's pretty heavy. So lots of nectar in there. Look at that, they're starting to cap on the brood box. So frame number two. It's pretty easy not to take them out because I broke it apart last week. Wow, this one's completely heavy. Look at that, lots of honey. Look at that, lots of honey almost capped. Wow, 
Oh, it's already stuck together. Good. And we had them open front last Sunday. Same thing. Same thing. Lots of honey. That's frame number four. Frame number five. No brood whatsoever yet. A little bit of drawn brood there, but it's full, full of honey. Gotta make sure the queen is not here if I'm gonna do the, what the guy suggested, put another brood box on. A little bit of brood there. Full of honey. Same scenario. Smoke one here so it doesn't die out on us. So no room for eight. It's no room to lay in here. So this is completely full of honey. Completely full of honey. Last one. Every one of them, okay? So this is gonna be kind of my honey super now. Beautiful. Take the second brood box out. Well, it'll be a honey box because it's full of honey. Let's see if we can find our queen owl. Okay, this is our bottom brood box. We had a lot of eggs and a lot of larvae on this one. A little bit of pollen. No brood on the outside frame. This one I see already lots of brood. Lots of brood there guys. Larva, freshly larva, tiny little larva. See if we see the queen here. Somebody told me to mark her. I have never marked the queen, so I don't have the, the marker yet. But I definitely I'll try it one day. Root on this one. This one's pretty light. Looks like they literally just hatched. 
Okay, guys, lots and lots and lots of eggs in here, guys. Tiny little eggs are all laying down. So she's laying in here. A little bit of room in here for her, but keep an eye on the queen there. Same scenario here. Lots of tiny little eggs. They're all laying down already. Because last week she was on the opposite side of the frames. And she's moved over to this side. So she's got a bit of room. Like. They hatched. They must have hatched. That's why it's so many empty now. Same thing here. Lots of brood. It's all cap brood. Some already hatched. So she might be coming into here. Lots of brood here still to hatch. 80% maybe. This is the other side that had 70%. Big drone cells there. Bit of brood. But they're putting honey in here on this one. This is the fifth frame. Almost in the middle. And there she is, guys, right there. There's our queen. Right in there, guys. Look at her. Nice, long, beautiful queen there. She can't lay nothing in here. It's got a lot of honey in here. You know what? I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to do what the guy suggested. I'm going to take out two frames. She's on that frame right there, right? Yeah. So take the two front ones. Take these two, move it up. Put two empty ones in here. Just double check it again. Yeah, this one's got a lot of brood. Let's do that. Yeah. Take this one here. Let me see if I see her again. She moved to the other one already. Lots of larvae on this one. Lots of tiny little larvae. I lost her already, so. Lots of larvae here on this side. Pretty empty. This one's got a little bit of hair. All right, I'm gonna leave these ones here outside. Leave that one there. Get one. My new box here. This one, this one here. Put one on either side. So hopefully they'll clean that up, fix it up for her. is done so I'm gonna put a new box this will be my new brood box move these to the side put those two new brood boxes in the middle this one in this one this one to the outside 
they normally told me they take care of it and clean up everything. So let's see if that happens. That one there, put these two new ones in here. Lots of brood. Hopefully she'll move up now. This will entice her to move up. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put the cleanest polluter up there. Let's shake some bees into here. from here now I'll shake it in there and I'll drop this one on top You have to do that whole box? No, I'm just going to do some. I'm going to put this one on top now. Get it clean this cluter. And hopefully that gets them going to move up here. Wow, pretty wild now. They don't know what's going on here. Although so hopefully they'll drop down and work on everything. So clean the scalooner. Gonna put this one up on top still. And let's see what happens out of here. That was pretty quick. So it holds up, right, Teresa? Yep. In the summer, I keep forgetting that guys, but Got my wife here to remind me. So we seen her. That's good. Same scenario. So now, so now guys, we have the the new box on it. So one of my subscribers told me to do that, and I'm gonna listen to him. I think it makes sense. This one's got all the lar fresh brood, everything. This one was the second box. It's all full of honey, There's no eggs, no nothing. They stored all the honey there. So I put a second brood box empty on top of the other one, move two new frames with brood in there up to the top one with some bees, put the honey super on top. And then I had my super honey, which has a little bit of honey right now in it. And I put it back on it too. So I'm not correct there, but it's full, full, full. So it kind of makes sense to put it there to be 80 percent full that's when you add another box let's go check our other hive the other hive is doing perfectly the way it's supposed to be totally different from this one so let's have a look at this one i'm going a little quicker today because last time the movie was the video video was way too too long so I'm trying to go a little faster let's check this one out here quickly and then we'll come next week and recheck them again to see, especially this one here. Lots of bees here. Yesterday they were wild. They were pretty, pretty crazy out here yesterday. So we're at the end of August. We've got a week and a half to go. But the weather is supposed to be changing. It's supposed to be good now for the next few weeks. So I'm going to try and come every week and do a little checking on them. Propolis, they put lots of propolis in place right away. So that's good. 
so they're working pretty hard. This one is good, like a lot of bees up here. Let's see if it started capping. This is our honey super. This is the one we haven't seen the queen yet, right? We haven't spotted her for a couple weeks now. This one is empty pretty well. See, yeah, it started to have a little bit, but it had lots of honey on this one already. Just not capped. I think it was a few capped ones. Let's check it out. We got a little time now. I'm going to go a little faster. And I'd like to say thanks to those comments to help me out. That's very good. So this one's got like 50% of honey. No capped, not capped yet. Then we had lots of room on both down there. Pretty cool. Starting to cap there a little bit, guys. That's a little bit capping already. So they'll start capping when the water or the humidity is, is right. When the higher, the their honey's perfectly to be capped they know when to do that there's a certain humidity or water to honey wow this one's completely full almost on this side not capped wow look at that this one's like 60 percent capped guys perfect the next one i can see from here it's 100 percent capped almost on my side 75 and a hundred that one looks the same so these guys actually need a super on top so I might have to get a super now here let me check this outside one here there were still two frames empty this frame here was a half empty the two frames were half empty fully capped almost 75% Seventy-five capped. Worst worst scenario, I can leave it still one more week without it. This one's empty. Okay, so that's three. Maybe I'll leave it another week with nothing. And empty. All right. Okay, so we're leaving this one alone. Let's go see if we can spot our queen because we haven't seen her, and it's a marked queen. last one's in so this one is empty the other one is empty so that's four frames empty so no let's wait another week and see if we have to drop another box another honey super evenly space them out it's always a good thing keep them nice and level Beautiful. Let's take this one out and head down to the brood boxes. This one's fairly heavy. Lots of bees up here. This one does seem like to have more bees than that one. But one was a little stronger than the other when I did get them, when I did buy them. So, but like that one there is not doing its job correctly, apparently. This one has been doing her job correctly. All right. Okay. This is our brood box. They're building wax here and putting honey already. They haven't built here, but you can see it started built a little bit. Okay, let's keep an eye on the queen. This one feels good. Lots of honey starting to cap. This one's almost all capped on this side. Let's see if we see some brood in the middle, which I thought we did last week. And we should be fine with this one. But it's a little bit, lots of, too much honey in here too also. Yeah, lots of honey here, pollen. 
Might be happening in the same scenario almost on this one. Once we start seeing brood, then we should keep an eye on her. Okay, lots of eggs in here, guys. Lots of eggs in here. Tiny, tiny little eggs laying down. Look at that there, Teresa. Tiny, tiny little eggs. So, and then little, little larva. So there's, she's been in here not too long. This is a top box, guys. So this is what we like to see. Maybe a little bit too much honey in here already, but all good. She might be on this one right here. Same scenario here, lots of eggs. Almost vertical eggs here, but not, no, not quite. They're all laying down. Little eggs laying down. Tiny, tiny little larva. And she's a marked queen, so we should be able to spot her a little better. So she's laying. Although we didn't spot her last week, she's got eggs. I mean, she's alive. It's always a good feeling. I only had one hive that survived the winter so far. So this is like our fourth year. I had one hive at the beginning, then started off with two. Same scenario here, guys. A lot of tiny, tiny little eggs, larva, cap, brood. It's looking good, but lots of pollen. Not too much. The second box, it's good. Same scenario here. Everything is full of eggs. Everything is full of eggs here again. She's gotta be close. Oh, the next one looks good. For some reason, so that would be east and west behind me. The ones on the east side, for some reason, some reason I've noticed they always have more brood in it. I don't know if it's the heat or too much heat. But look at this guys, look at all the brood here. 75% brood and the rest honey, eggs and larva. So she's working edge to edge. Look at that guys. And on our second box, brood box, and lots of drone cells there. They're the taller ones. But one of the guys in the comments said, don't worry about it. She'll take care of them. So much difference from one box to the other, eh? Yeah. Okay, now here, normally you start seeing more honey, but here, though, she's still got lots of pollen, no eggs, nothing laid here, pollen, a few, a little bit of brood there, capped, and some larva. Well, there is a couple little eggs in there, here and there, mixed in with the pollen. This other side, it's got lots of eggs, lots of eggs again in there. So she's been around. Keep an eye on her. You try to keep an eye on her, right? Help me yeah. out there. That's good. Now the other next one I can see already. The last two frames on the east side, which will be nine and ten. Which I call them nine and ten, always away from me. I can see a lot of honey in here already. A lot of capped honey here. So a lot of capped honey in here. No eggs, pollen. Same scenario here. This one's completely full of honey and almost capped. And let's get our last frame out. Very good. This queen is doing a good job here, I think. Look at that capped nectar. And they're, they're building out the cells. Look at that. You can start seeing the wax on it. Beautiful. Okay, let's put this one back in. No queen on the top. Unless we missed her. Go quick down to the bottom. And our job is done for today. Can't wait for next week to check that one. See if that's gonna work for us. Hopefully it does. That means I can save all that honey on the second brood box. It's all full of honey. So I might as well harvest that probably. Let me know guys, what do you guys think about that? Because there's lots of honey in here. And the other thing I would like to ask is when do I treat now
for Varroa Varroa mite, mites. You know, we got a couple more weeks in August. I normally use Formic Pro on it. That's what they recommended when I bought my first hive. So I always kept doing that. Okay, let's open the bottom one. And when should I start feeding them? It's nice to know from other people when, when they do it. So I have a, a better idea. With mine, doing mine, okay. The last brood box. This here was lots of, lots of brood last week on this one too. So. Like I said, this queen is doing a beautiful job. And let's not forget, I lost that queen there because that queen was a marked queen before. So it's a new queen, I think. Or anybody say, would the mark come off the queen? It was marked. We did notice it for the first couple of weeks when we put her in there. Okay, pretty empty, but you can start seeing there's a little white on the cells there. This side empty too. I know the top one's all full and this one's got one empty here. That's fine. Soon. here we go look at that another one empty they're building out their cells there this one here it's got a lot of pollen no eggs no queen Some brood, lots of eggs. So all the empty ones there are lots of eggs. Lots of eggs, no queen. Lots of eggs. But they're putting more honey in here all over the place now, so. Maybe I should put another box. Wow, it's getting wild here now. Lots of brood, lots of larva, tiny little larva, lots of eggs, no queen. This one, lots of larva, lots of eggs, no queen. And not as much drone cells on this one versus the one over there. Getting towards the middle of the brood box. Lots of brood, lots of, they just hatched. There's nothing in there. It looks like they're nicely clean, actually. So some hatched. Look at this brood here. Lots of brood here again. No queen, a few drone, drone down at the bottom there. Drone cells. And this year we haven't seen. Oh, there she is. Where is she? Is she? Oh, no, no, I thought it was. It looked oh, like her. It looked like her. It looked her. like a light one. Yeah, but it's uh, the <laughs> pollen on their legs. I think that's what you saw maybe, but that's fine. Let's double check again. We're getting excited here. Good stuff. And next week, we'll probably have to put a super up here. Another super. Whoa, lots of larva. Lots of drone, lots of brood. Not too many drones, well, tiny beans. She's marked with the yellow one, but look at all the larvae in there, guys. Look at that. White, nice big size. They're all almost the same size. A little tiny ones here towards the edge. Look at that pollen there, nice and orange pollen. And the other one beside it's got white on it. I don't see any mites on the bees there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It might be a lot of larva though. That's good. She's gotta be close. She's gotta be close. Oh, I thought that one was her, but it's not. Come on, second time? No, no, but she gotta got to be. No, you'll see it. This one's got a good yellow mark, I think. It's yellow. This one's light. Lots of brood. Little tiny larva. No eggs here on this side. I don't see none though. Yeah, maybe there is. Yeah, there is eggs. 
No, it's not. Ooh, lots of tiny little larvae here. Lots of eggs here. She's got to be close. And we're going to miss her again. Wow, getting hectic here, the bees. Quite a bit of brood, pollen, a little bit of, no, no larva. Lots of pollen on them. Bit of brood here. Nothing. Wow, we're gonna make a little pollen on that one there. Nice and, know, look yeah. at that, look at that right there. Eh? That orange pollen. Two more to go. Lots of brood. Not lots, a bit. There's eggs on these ones, so she's gotta be here, guys. Tiny, tiny little eggs here. Let's flip it. Maybe not. Wow. The invisible queen. Yeah. Little brood. No brood, sorry. Honey, no eggs, and we missed her again. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. It'll be in the box too when we pull them out. Okay, let's close it up. This one looks very good, guys. I think it looks good. Can get all the bees flying around. Put our honey super on top which next week we'll need to take care of. It's almost full. That was pretty quick today. Did a good job today, quick. And again, we did not see the queen in the we second box. The again. We know she's there. We've seen vertical eggs, not vertical, but freshly eggs hatched. They old. So overall, I think this one is doing very well. Hopefully this one will pick up. I think she's still doing pretty good. We'll check next week. We, I'd love to check this, see how this one making out. Let's see if our queen does move up into the second brood box and start laying in there. A lot of pollen on the bees coming in today. 
That one always brings more than this one, but you see lots on this one today. So it's been raining, everyday rain here, man. So me, next week for sure, we'll put another super there. Maybe I'll just come midweek and just throw one on top there. All right, guys, thanks. And help me out with the comments. And see you next time. Bye, have a good day.